Okay, here we have an application for shin splints, medial shin splints, also known as medial tibial stress syndrome. So what we're doing is taking a, an eye strip and measuring it roughly the length of our shin bone or our tibia. Now make sure we round those corners so that we don't get the tape catching on any clothing, especially socks. Once we've got that tape prepared, we want to tear the backing paper 5 centimeters from one end to expose the adhesive surface. Now take the foot and turn it out so that we can stretch the tissues through that inside portion of the leg. And what we want to do is anchor that piece of tape down the bottom of the tibia. And we want to try and get it on the edge of that bone. So feel along the tibia on the inside portion of the bone and we want to lay that tape over that section. So anchoring that piece of tape there on the bottom of the shin and what we're going to do is as we remove the, pa the paper from the tape, we're going to lay that down with a finger following along as we remove that tape. So we're applying the tape with no tension or paper off tension, which is roughly 20% available tension. Okay, and we're laying that end down with no tension at all. Give that tape a nice rub after you've laid it down so that we can activate that adhesive surface. Then we're going to take another eye strip. This one's about 15 centimeters in length and we're going to round those corners also. So once we've got that eye strip prepared, we want to tear the backing paper through the center and expose that adhesive surface in the center. I'm going to apply approximately 100% tension, 75 to 100% tension and lay it down over that area of pain or wherever it is most painful. Always remember to lay the ends down with no tension whatsoever. And that is our application for medial shin splints.